So I don't want to... Yeah, the music's changing. It's trying to warn me. It's going, hey, you're going near a POI. It's close to nighttime when you have a sprained leg, so... Hello everyone, Thoranks is here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, playing on permadeath still, and I have to say, I'm feeling like this is a pretty reasonable start that we have going on here. Um, I think we are going to put down our bedroll, even though we're entirely not going to need it. Uh, just to kind of mark our home so that we can wander around without fear of, you know, getting lost and, and wondering where where we need to go to get home. Um, I would like this blunderbuss to totally be on that bar, please. And then the ammo we're going to hold on to. Painkillers, I think it's always good to hold on to. The dukes, we don't really need to hold on to. The lockpicks, we will. And the bones, we will not. Okay, there we are. Uh, the paper, yeah, not so much. And there we have it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and see what's in the Shotgun Messiah sealed shipping crate. Scrap leg armor. Yeah, we're going to wear that. And four repair kits. That's not bad. That's not bad. So now we have a little bit of armor on our person. Yep. Feet and legs. Um, sure. We'll, we'll get there. What we really need is to find a schematic for a forge so we do not have to create we do not have to create one. Ooh, what is that military fiber and iron oh my goodness yeah we're gonna be breaking all of these fun little chairs now i think what we need to work on is making this place safe but i don't really want to spend too much time doing that while we have daylight i feel like that is a little bit of a waste of Wow, this place, I don't know if it's, if it's, oh, uh, oh, uh. okay, we sprained our leg. Gosh, I should have known that was going to be a little treacherous. I don't know if it's because we're close to the woods or why we seem to be pulling a lot of zeds, but yeah, our leg being sprained is a little rough. We might have to try to make a splint to fix that, but for now, let's take care of our, our neighbor here trying to say hi. Like a good neighbor. It's our zombie friend. I don't want to do much more with... Yeah, I think we're going to use this stuff here to make a splint. Um, I don't want an injury to become worse. Let's just see what it says. Your leg is sprained and slowing you down, so it'll take some time to heal. Jumping or sprinting will delay healing or even hurt you. Further critical hits may result in a broken leg. Can we use a splint? Okay, so a splint is heals a broken arm or leg, but does not protect against further injury. Well, we have a splint now in any event, in case our sprained leg turns into a broken one. Whoa, that lowers your health by a significant amount. Are you kidding me? 27.4, but it's only for nine minutes. How are we passively healing? It says running. It says running might make it worse. Well, I'm not inclined to try to do any of that then. Let's instead focus on. Let me see. We don't. We didn't really get a lot of jars of water. Let's think for a moment. Well, I don't want to be outside the wire after night. So let's. Chop down some trees. We'll do a bit of looting of the outside. And then we'll we'll just get a bunch of wood and barricade ourselves in for the night. 
And that way we don't have to sprint or anything. That's fine, because it's going to be nighttime soon, and we don't we don't want to go far. Oh, bunny rabbit! And a chicken. I want some grub. No, that's okay. We have some meat, um, and we did take Master Chef, so we'll be able to grill it. Oh, no, we don't have a grill. Well, we haven't looted this entire POI, but so far this POI has left a little bit to be desired. A little bit. Um, not as good as, say, a residential place that's full of cooking supplies and cups of water and everything else. There we go, there we go, there we go, chicken. Come on. Yes! All right, still got it. Still hunting chickens in the grass. Meat and feathers, that's that's big early game. That's big. Are we going to need stone? I, I think it couldn't hurt. However... We probably need a lot more wood. Nope, let's not run. No, no, no. We need to not run. We need to let this sprain heal by just taking it easy. We've still got two hours till nightfall. Did we get any animal fat that we can... We didn't get any animal fat from the chickens. So we can't really make any candles. So it might be a little dark in our little... Our treacherous sort of... should be looking around for, like, a rabbit. We saw one. Are you serious? Another Zed? A couple of them. Oh, man. We need to secure this place. Alright, yep. Give me the old one-two swing. Pretty sure when your arm gibbs, you're done. Pretty sure. And then you, I would like you to go away as well. Our friend that's dressed, for the, dressed their best. Let's go, level two! Um, you know what? We'll look at what goodies we get for level 2 here in a minute. Um, for now. Let's see. It's 8.30, and I want to start thinking about security. Does this door close? It does. Wonderful. And then what is this made out of? This is metal. A metal wall all the way around? That's... You know what? There's some goodness to this location. It's not going to be like... A permanent base by any means but there is some some definite goodness here um, is that it do we want to do we want to call it and start sheltering in place I don't think so I think actually if we have daylight we're gonna take daylight and chop down another tree, probably. Yep, get some of this garbage, see if we get any schematics out of it. Some gasoline, that's, oh, that's pretty good. There you go, some brass, empty dumpster, we already got that one. Bird's nest, that's good. Some eggs, oh, if we just had a grill and make some bacon and eggs, or wait... Does bacon and eggs take a grill? It might not. I think it does. No, I think it takes a, what, a cooking pot, maybe? We'll have to wait and, and look and see. But definitely hot on our list is going to be securing food in the next day. So we might go do the trader's quest kind of early on since it's a modular home. 
see if we can get a few cooking supplies, and then we might be looking for a place where we can get good schematics. If we can learn to build a forge without having to spend a point over on the intellect tree, then it's just going to help us synergize our strength that much sooner early game, which is going to help us out. Nine, ten, and we still have a sprained leg, so I don't want to... Yeah, the music's changing. It's trying to warn me. It's going, hey, you're going near a POI. It's close to nighttime and you have a sprained leg, so... Why is the music doing that? Okay. All right, so I'm guessing the Navisgain Creamery is a little... A little, um... Risky. And just by the dynamic music, I do like the dynamic music, how it sort of hints you in about what's going on. This music is sort of like, hey, there's nothing really around you. You're kind of clear. Let's start... Let's start removing all the trash off the floor here. And just all around... See, this is a great place to put a door and have a mine. I agree. This is good. Yo, yeah. We got like a torch in there. Nothing for this barrel. We'll leave it for now. I think we're going to start to tear down a lot of this wooden stuff and then... Let's, um... I mean, the truth is, there's a lot here to fortify, but... Yeah, but the cement is what holds up the building, and these... These are pretty good. We can reinforce them later as required. But for now, let's start to make this place our home. As it is about to be nighttime. Okay, now we sort of just want to be quiet. We don't really want to pull any undue attention. Look at this shenanigans here. The wall doesn't... It's like leaves a little gap. Yep, I hear a zombie. As long as we don't, like, invite them to come check out what we're doing. Should be fine. Should be fine. You know what? I don't want to keep breaking grass by the fence. I don't think that's uh, in our best interest. Instead... I would like to hang out in here. And we're going to leave this door open because slamming of metal doors, as I understand it, is actually very loud activity. Let's put a torch in here so we can see a little bit of what we're doing. All right, here's our bookcase. Here's our chance for something good. What'd we get? A quest. And then, Tech Junkie 4, Robotic Turret Shells. Turn that robotic turret into a makeshift shotgun. That's kind of cool. We have another metal door over here. We're just going to leave kind of unlocked or open for now. What do we have here? Ammo pile. Ammo's always good. Another barracks chair. Here we go. Some lockers. And what do we got? Um... Steel armor parts. Scrap advanced armor tools and weapons to acquire these items. Oh, oh. It's part of steel armor.
I don't want to aggro them, and they sound like they're on the other side of that wall. You know what? Maybe we'll just pick up this chair for now. And just stay over here, and... You know what? Let's just let's work on building our path up. Look at this beautiful night here. Okay. All right. So let's give ourselves safe travels to the top. We're going to need a wooden catwalk and stairs. Yep. This is. So we're gonna need quite a few of these. Let's just start with 13. That's probably a good number to start with. And if we reload here, we're going to get, yes, our options, um, which I think we want stairs with the railing, right? Sounds like a wolf is fighting with our resident zombie. And one of them just got gibbed. Okay, so this is not sporty. Um, now this is being sheer metal. No matter how we slice this, we're going to have an issue. Oof, it is getting dark though. Oh, look at that. So it actually got dark as the moon went behind the cloud, and then the full moon lightened it back up. That's pretty cool. What do I hear a zombie like hitting the grass? 7,000 to break this one? Um. We're just going to have to move along to the other side of that. I don't know what else to say. That's that's going to be one that's just going to be in our way for a bit. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Are we able to catwalk with one railing? So in order to get two railings kind of on each side, I think we have to... I think we have to basically destroy the ones without two railings and exchange them for ones with two railings. That might not be something we do on our first night, actually. Let's instead work on just getting a path up. All right, our sprained leg went away, though. And then we can probably focus on making some wooden kill spikes and planning how we would defend this place from a horde. Again, it might not be the best place, but I think we want it to at least be able to handle early game horde or else there's no point in settling up here. Uh, no, that would be incorrect, Thranxes. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, how about we rotate? Thank you. When you want to deny access, just twist your catwalk. <laughs> no, we'll have to impose our own barriers. But I don't know, I kind of think if this becomes overrun with zombies, it's not a viable fallback situation. I think this place is very much like you put your stuff up top so that you can work on things without, you know, being close to the ground where you're going to draw attention. But I think if the zombies are running up the stairs and chasing you, you've messed up. Because you have nowhere to go. <laughs> so I think 
I think you hold your ground, and then if you fail, you have a, a buried like a tunnel like bug out mine. Basically, I think that's your that's your only real real chance at anything. Let's go ahead. We'll destroy this section of railing here. There we go. You are hungry. Uh, yeah, so we are hungry. But we need to get this area safe. Safe and sound. So there's a little bit of work to be done. Um, not really swell on the... See, now that looks like you could just build railing without... Any sort of a floor. Maybe not on that one. Uh, we could just build, yeah, like wooden bars, but that's not. Fences and railings. Uh, they're still, they're going to be like outside the... Yeah, they're not, it's not going to line up. You can see there, it's just sort of... It's not going to line up with the uh, the catwalk. In other words, it won't look it won't look good. Okay, and I think that's that's pretty good. All right. I don't think we need to be as sneaky up here. Maybe we do, maybe that's a mistake, but I don't think it is. There we go, break that cobweb. Okay. And here we are. Let's, I think we'll put down our barracks chair. Um, just to break it. Uh, you know what, it wouldn't hurt to crouch just to be, just to be, uh, you know. See? Somebody heard us. Somebody is down there losing their cool. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have stopped crouching. It didn't cost us anything, but now it's costing us metal. Sounds like they got through, too. Kill some zombies with your fists while drunk. Ugh. Really? Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. I, I mean, not a thing I'm, I'm planning on doing anytime soon. <laughs> That is them coming at us, isn't it? They did bust their way in. All because we thought we could make some noise. The hubris. Oh my goodness. Well, we're just going to take it easy then. We'll go ahead and make ourselves a little campfire. Let's see. Bacon and eggs does require a cooking pot. I had figured it did. Um, but technically so does grilled meat require a grill. So our only option is to char some meat. Not great. How hungry are we? We're a little hungry. I think we can afford to wait, though. I think we'll... We can't really make red tea or anything either, can we, without a cooking pot? Yeah. So 
So I think we'll just we'll just drink our water. Wooden catwalk stairs. I think we'll just scrap them and get the wood back. Painkillers. We might hold on to our painkillers. And then arrows. What are we looking at? We got 15 arrows. Let's go ahead and increase that number by 5. Alright, I'd like to repair, repair... pretty good. Um, I think this is all pretty basic stuff to hold on to. Let's make sure our blender bus is loaded, because if we need it, it's not the time to, uh, to load it. See if we can get visibility on who's making a racket out there. They did. They busted through the wall over there, or the door. See, or no, not it was not the door. That's the the fencing. So that means it was either weak or. Oh, you know what? We didn't search that backpack there either. So we're gonna have some maintenance to do on our perimeter. I think we're going to treat that as the de facto, like, front and sort of use that building as a kill room slash fallback area. Maybe. Boy, there's a couple. Man, the woods. You'd think being in town would be dangerous with all the zombies walking around, but I think the woods is actually pretty treacherous. I don't know why it matters to like board this stuff up, but because we're way up here. So we can repair some of this stuff for experience, but it's not really going to give us a ton of value. This guy, though, look at this zombie down there. In our sacred space. Like, this place is supposed to be safe from that kind of riffraff. That's well, 325. The sun will be up soon. And now, now the zombie's just trying to get back out to its friends. Oh, I'm trapped. Back the way you came, you filthy animal. Let's get an arrow ready. I don't think this is a situation where we shoot it from up here, though. I think we come all the way around and we get ready to hit it right at 4 a.m. Right when it loses its evil sprinting abilities. Something about the nighttime supercharges these zombies. I was actually having a discussion about the mechanics and the lore behind the zombies and how the blood moon functions. And I think I think that if you think about it, this is more of a supernatural zombie than it is a biological zombie. And I think if you think about it like that, it explains a lot with how they function, how they get stronger at night, how the blood moon calls them to you. Something supernatural going on in the world. Uh. 
How did that zombie die? Huh, what the heck? How did that zombie... Oh, it was bleeding. That zombie was bleeding out from its engagement with the wolf. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Not what I expected at all. Um, you know what? I think this is something... Yeah, I can see something down there. You're not fooling me. Not at all. Reveal your secrets to me. Ammo pile. Sure thing. Alright. Yep. We checked most of this for the most part. We're going to pick up these chairs. No, we're not. No, we're not. The chairs can be easily dropped off later. The only problem is if we want to store our stuff, we got a long way to go to get back up, you know. Generator bank is empty? What a ripoff. That's okay. Not a big deal. Ammo pile hidden over here in the corner. Ooh. Triple pocket mod? You don't say so. Can you go over here? Oh, yeah. Pockets on my legs. Yup. And then we lose some of that encumbrance area. That's good stuff. Okay. So I know we need to secure this up now. But now all the zombies are gone. Where did that wolf go? Is that a thing we can maybe hope to achieve in this lifetime? Probably not. I imagine there is a despawn limit where the animal just disappears. If I had to guess. Alright, so if I just pull up this and I go, hey, what about iron door, iron hatch, iron ladder, wooden window, wooden storage, furniture, forge, workbench... What I don't see is some sort of, like, steel fencing. So I think instead what we're going to have to do is sort of patch this up a little bit, like, like this. I like the barbed wire all over the fence. That's good. That's not maybe ideal, but it's something. It's still like a weak point, though. Like, the zombie is still going to come after that now because it's weak. Right? 225 versus 300. Yep. Same with that. Okay, well, looking at the time, that's going to be it for this day. So it looks like we're going to be on our way to loot maybe some residential areas and get some things to cook with and hopefully maybe even find some canned food along the way because we are going to be hungry. But, um, yeah, you know, having all of our stuff way up top to store it is um, not great, especially because we have to dance around this thing. So really it just gives us kind of a, a place to like sprint and get our cardio on. A ladder might be better, but I don't know how you would that would be quite a construction feat just for access. Our construction might be might be better saved for you know, actual fortifications, you know, maybe. That's a thing. I hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. Until next time, take care.